Do you talk about managing how to control your thoughts in week two? Like I overthink and have these negative thoughts where I just sabotage myself telling, telling I'm not good enough. I know it's new connections you need to create inside your brain, but sometimes it's like these thoughts will stay there forever. Yeah, I mean, the only thing that drives out thought is action. So a lot of the biggest mistake I see people make with mindset, and I did this too in the beginning with mindset, is thinking that you can think yourself into like being an action taker and getting results. You can't think yourself anything. If you just think, you won't make any money. And you know, you can't think yourself any food, you can't think yourself exercise, you can't think yourself anything. If you just think you'll die. You can't think yourself sleep, like you have to do it. And so like the biggest trap I see with mindset is when people start reading these books and they get into all of this stuff and they think like they've found the holy grail and you know they're they're excited about it. And then they keep going to events, seminars, they keep reading stuff, they keep listening to podcasts, and they keep doing their mindset training, and they keep thinking, but then nothing happens. Like, that's like, you've got to understand, that's like learning about sleep, like reading all the books on sleep, like listening to podcasts on sleep, buying the best mattress, buying the best, like, air conditioning system, earplugs and everything, but they're not ever going to sleep that you're going to die and you won't like this you'll have a worse sleep so that's how mindset can sometimes trick people into being but like i've met some people who don't do any mindset stuff who are way more successful than people who know a shitload of stuff about mindset and it's because the people who know a shitload of stuff about mindset they've gone too far and the people who don't they, they're just doing it so you've got to make sure you don't get stuck in that balance. I mean, you don't get stuck on that side. But if you want to make your thoughts go away, you have to like get into the zone into something. So when you're super focused on a piece of work, like when I'm super focused doing something, I pretty much forget that I exist. It's pretty much like I just disappear and I just go into like the work. And then like, I don't know what time it is. I don't know if I'm hungry. I don't even know if I need to go to the bathroom. And then like, I like come out and I'm like, holy shit, it's been like 12 hours and I just did all of the stuff and you didn't even have a thought. The moment you have a thought, you're not doing it. Like true focus is when there's no thinking. Like pro athletes, like Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant, if they're like playing basketball, and they think it's done, it's over. If you're like, you, you can't, like thinking is what you do to like, go like, oh, I'm gonna do this thing, but then you've gotta do it and the thinking stops. So you're obviously just not doing enough. 